The ITA Matrix is an incredible piece of software for finding cheap flights. Today I'm going to show you how to find skip lag flights and really save a lot of money. What I want to do is fly from Cancun to New York in about the middle of the month. So if we go to Momondo and have a look at this, the price is going to be about $158. However, if we choose our dates here, we'll say, okay, I want to fly from the 15th um, from Cancun to New York. I don't care about the class. I don't care about how many stops there are and show me in USD. Now, this would just look up those flights, but let's look up a skip leg flight, i.e., let's look up a flight which is going somewhere else but is going to stop in my destination and I can get off the plane. So I'm going to go New York City plus everything within 2,000 miles. I'm actually going to go a step further and this link is in the um, in the footer or in the, uh, the video explanation I should say. I'm going to grab the US's top 100 airports. I'd often also do Canada, South America you never know what's going to come up and do a search. So again what this is doing is looking for every flight that's going to go through New York and because I've got carry-on only I can just get off the airplane there. Now there's a little trick to this I already mentioned that you've got to have carry-on but you also want to be lining up for your flight much earlier than normal because often if you get on last you'll have to check your bag and that'll ruin this whole plan put you where you don't want to be. But it's really not that hard to be lining up early. And look at this, incredible, 16th, 20th, 21st, we can get $113 flights. That is significantly better than 158 So let's, I know what you're thinking, okay, you're thinking maybe these dates don't line up. Let's set it for the 16th. And while that's searching, I'll show you how this works. So we click onto this. This is not a booking engine. You will book direct with the airlines, but what it is is an amazingly powerful search. So this is our flight. It's an American Airlines flight. They fly from Cancun to JFK, and that's where you'll get off. Then they fly from JFK to Baltimore. Why do they do this? It's basically a way of getting people onto less popular flights. They are making sure that it's full by offering a little discount. Now I've searched the same date, the same date does come down slightly, 148, but 113 is still better. In fact, if we do the math there, we're looking at about a $35 saving, $35 on 148, that's pretty significant, that's uh, I don't know, 25% or something like that. So it's really, really easy to do. The other thing you can do, and should always do, is just have a quick look to see what premium economy or business looks like. Now if you've read my other posts on how to point hack, this can be a really great way to pay 50 bucks more and get a whole heap of status credits and frequent flyer points which can then be used later on to give you a much more comfortable flight. Here premium economy is 179 it's probably not going to be worth the money, the extra $60 um, for a few extra points and a slight bit of comfort. But this one's with Delta. Let's have a look. It's going Delta and you also going to Baltimore. So for some people, particularly people who are part of this alliance, that might be a better flight. And hey, it only took me two seconds to look. Let's have a quick look for business class as well. The average for a business class is three times what economy is. So if we happen to see this at two times, or 1.5 times, it might be worth booking. But in this instance, it's three times, so we know that's pretty much standard. So this is it, guys. That's how you skip leg uh, using the ITA software matrix. You should still look. You can look at skip leg to the website. It's not as good. You can look at Momondo. You can look at other things. But always see if this can help you. I'm going to link to this post here which really does give you everything you need. And I need to give a shout out to Dan's Deals. Um, they do a fantastic job of explaining the ITA matrix as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Please leave comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. That's Josh Stropchinski signing out.